HTTP Requests Manager built to manage WP HTTP requests, which is also known as API calls or external requests. WP HTTP requests happen inside WordPress pages in PHP. It is server-to-server -server communication, communicates to WordPress org website, it can communicate to other domains as well, so plugins can load some news, some notification or check license communicating to their server. It's also used to communicate your own website as well, to initiate cron job or to do site health check. Why it is important WP HTTP requests uh, take time when they want to load external requests. So it will take one second or two seconds. It, can, it depends on network and on server response time of external server. For example, if your page is loading in one second without external request, if it has an external request, then that page will be generated in two seconds. If it has 10 external requests inside that page, then that page will generate in 11 seconds. Each external request will add on average one second to page generation time. After page generated, it will be sent to web browser to the end user. So that's why it's very important to optimize WP HTTP requests in WordPress. It's mostly overlooked feature and that nobody <coughs> monitors it, nobody wants to optimize it. So that's what happens when you first log into WordPress admin. It checks for updates and some other plugins check for notifications to load some news, so some updates. And that first page will have from 5 to 10 external requests when you first log into admin, which will make your uh, that page very slow. It can be 5 seconds, it can load in 10 seconds, and it can even sometime time out and show an error. So this plugin logs all external requests, plus it has feature to optimize external requests by blocking them on slow pages. So let me show how it logs and what you can see. You can see here external request by plugin, another external request by plugin, WP HTTP request to WordPress org website, checking your server version. Another one, Browse Happy checks your browser and update checks for plugins, for themes. And this, this time when request happened, it's 4 minutes ago, 6 hours ago, 14 hours ago. So these requests are regularly happens on your WordPress website. And this is page time. So this page is fast, this is slow page, almost 4 seconds, another slow page, almost 5 seconds. This is a bit ok, this is slow, this is very slow, 8 seconds for one page generation, which, which is very slow. And there is another column runtime, which is request time, how long that request took. So this is blocked request, they are showing very fast because they are not sent. And this is external request, it's almost one second. Here is another one which is more than one second. Here is one request which took five seconds, which is very slow. So external request time is not depending on your web server, it depends on factors that you cannot control that out of your control. Click on any request and see additional information like request time, page time, and on which page this happened, on REST API page, how many requests on that page. There were only one request, and this is requested data, and this is response data. You can see, for example, which function called set made that request, which plugin, for example here we can see plugin name, plugin is also for ease of use, 
is shown here as a batch so you can debug any request that happened some time ago for example this one is update check you can see that this page is very slow and it's a cron job cron page which is okay for cron pages to be slow because they are designed to handle slow operations and for ease of use you can group report by request URL for example it will show you which URL request were sent and how many times for example this one update check was sent 23 times and average request time as well and when you click uh, on any group it will open individual requests list of individual requests so what else you can request by domain so here you will see which domains were requested most wordpress.org, rankmas, this is my own website this is external request made to itself so these are generally cron job initiation or ajax call internal or site health so if you click on it you can see that it's wp site health call also you can see other domains as well benchmark groundhog geo plugin google api rank math theme iso so you can see all requests made by themes plugins or wordpress core and this grouping is very helpful you can group by page for example to see which pages had many requests had most requests you can group by page type to see if requests were made on admin pages on cron pages on ajax on rest api on front end now this is very important because you don't want to have many requests on front end so when you have a slow request on front end that front end page will be will slow down so you can group by initiator this is helpful to see which feature or which function made request so this is update core update core browse happy this is plugin requests version check core so it's you wordpress uses it for internal operations for checking updates for site health check for version check when you click uh, on any plugin in plugins page then it also made an external request to wordpress to show that plugin to load plugin information all cron jobs are started with wp http request or i like an external request so all, you can see all sorts of external requests in this report you can then group by initiator type and see if it's core requests you have more or you have plugin requests or theme requests which one makes more requests and you can group by response so you can see successful requests they are okay it can be by success by response status or you can see blocked requests and blocking is part of optimization you block some requests in order to keep your wordpress pages fast and you can see errors as well errors can be uh, by status code so this 403 is error status code when we click on it you can see it's it says forbidden it was a forbidden request also you can see if it's network error or some connection error SSL error as well it will show you as a as a badge so this is a uh, how reporting looks you can analyze these logs and make decision change some settings or 
use or switch to other plugins maybe or switch off some functions features etc you will know if your pages are slow you will know exactly why it is slow what was responsible for its slowness and on settings page you can switch to I am currently using smart blog you can switch to only login which means that no requests will be blocked but if you switch to smart blog then some requests will be blocked and your WordPress will be faster because of this blocking smart blog blocks if page generation time is already more than three seconds then it blocks all external requests after that time or if your page has say for example 10 requests it blocks after three requests it blocks all other seven requests so that's how it makes your website faster if you are working on localhost or on development website then and you don't want any external requests then you can block all external requests which will make your website fast because all external requests will not take time and your pages will be generated much faster also you can if you want to use only WordPress repository, WordPress updates, etc., and don't want to send any requests to external server, by plugins, by themes, then you can block all external requests and allow only WordPress org. So this is also this can be used on production website as well. It, if your plugins are not depending on external requests, like important ones like sending emails or loading data or making backups then you can use this option as well and in addition to that you can use a uh, custom rules for smart block so there you can define which domains you want to always allow so it's not blocked by smart block or you can individually block domains or plugins that you don't want to have any external requests so if those features are not useful for you it, you can control what what is sent or what what will not be sent to other domains so it's uh, some sort of controlling your plugins functionalities so if plugin loads news and you don't want to spend your server resources on loading news from plugin then you can block those requests and don't see any news because if you are not interested in news why would you spend your server resources on loading on loading something that's not useful for you so this is how HTTP requests manager works and how it can help to speed up your WordPress website try it yourself and you will see some really good speed improvements especially inside your admin you will see improvements in front end as well i have a whole playlist featuring tutorials explaining each feature of this plugin i will put a link in description so check those tutorials as well if it helps to speed up your website if it helps you to see and to fix some errors to make some optimizations write a review in WordPress or write review to related videos in my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.